Hi, welcome to a gorgeous autumnal afternoon in Chesterfield. We've had a bit of a break from the wind and rain of the last couple of days and we've got some very warm southern temperatures that are hitting between 15 and 16 degrees in the day and only dropping down to 9 degrees at night. As you can see I've opened the covers just to let a bit of air in and to also let a bit of sunlight in. Another apology is I've not done a video for a couple of weeks but I've had a few things in real life to deal with and I've also been on holiday for a bit and hence this video. This video is not a video that I'd ever planned on making and it's not a video that I'd ever thought about or intending to make but it's something that has happened when I got back so it's only right to share it with you guys. Before we get into the video please if you're not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button hit the bell button and get notifications of any videos that are coming out in the future. If you do enjoy this video, when you get to the end, please check out some more videos. If anybody's interested in any merchandise, any special gifts for birthdays, Christmas, anything like that, please check out the store. The link is in the description below. But if you're not sure, it's on acoyenthusiast.co.uk forward slash store. There's beanies, polos, sweatshirts and hoodies. Just got back from a week away and I'm slightly worried about the parameters in this pond, but sadly, this is where we've uh, had a problem. As you can see by the water level, I seem to have lost some water. I'm sure where. If you're uh, Skirmish or a bit of a nervous disposition, look away now. Still can't work out where the problem is. Tempest is dry, filter system is dry. Pipe works all connected, no damp or anything in here, so I haven't got a clue where we've lost the water. And I think it could be through, straight through the waste on the filter unit. We'll have a look at that uh, when we've got some more water in the pond and I've cleared up all the, uh, the mess. Well, I've filled the water back up, I marked the line where the water came to. Now just run it the same setup a couple of days as you can see from the line the water's not dropped in fact with the rain was on it's actually gone up a bit what I've got is a two inch hose that comes down to the pump there and then it comes out and goes into this filter unit I've had the bottom hose off this Tempest the last couple of days and there's no thing leaking out of that but I know that uh, I may have a bit of an issue here and the water seems to be passing out the waste with the filter so that's probably about three years old and that's the only explanation I can come up with is that the water is coming out of there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap that for a 12,000 which is a larger one anyway and I'm also going to swap that 10,000 pump to a 20,000 pump. The reason why I say that is because that's running at 75%, I think 75%, that's running at 70% and it's pulling 48 watts. So if I run a 20,000 at 30% I'm going to get roughly the same amount of flow through the filter but I'm going to have a bigger filter there so it shouldn't be too much of an issue and it should be fine for the Tempest. 
so it should be okay for the upgraded filter unit and it should be alright for the Tempest so what I'm going to do first is swap that so just for a bit of ease of use etc what I've done is added a ball valve two inch ball valve there on the hose to the bottom drain and then into the pump yes there's already a ball valve on the IBC but this is easy to get out and quicker to get out in case of emergency so the bottom drain feeds through the ball valve to the pump the pump pumps it up into the spring clean auto and because we've got a problem on this one and it's exiting water there I'm going to swap this so we'll do a, an unboxing of the filter and then we'll connect it anybody that knows me apart from the drum filter what I have got are some pressure filters and the pressure filters that I'm favoring at the moment are the Pond Expert Spin Clean Autos this is one that I'm going to put on an IBC and yes the IBC is only I don't know 650 litres something like that so this filter is massively over spec for what I want it for but Wilson's checking this one out too but due to the flow rate that I'm going to be running through the Tempest at 7,000 litres ish an hour I want something that's going to be comfortably handle that volume without leaking out the waste or anything like that so I'll do a quick opening of it. I've done several openings of different sizes from a 30,000, a 20,000, a 10,000, an 8,000 and now 12,000. So as you can see on the, on the front it says it's easy clean UV pond filter. Suits ponds up to 12,000 litres. Not that I would ever put a pressure filter on a pond that size. Which is 2,640 gallons. No way do I believe as good as it is that on its own a pressure filter of that size would comfortably handle a pond of that size and that is 2200 gallons either way it's got a 13 watt UV and it's sus free the beauty of the spin clean auto yes you can have the handle you can rotate you can siphon your waste off quite easily using one of those but with the spin clean auto you just turn the blue knob it does it for yourself and it gives you a beep when it's completed quick and easy so we'll open it up I'm sure you'll know what you're going to find in there so I've opened up and as I mentioned this is the spin clean 12,000 what we've got here are three host tails that one is for the waste that one's for the inlet sorry inlet and that's for the outlet what we've got on the inlet and outlet is a 20 mil 25 mil 32 38 mil or we've got the inch and a half threaded so you can put it straight onto solvent weld this is what I didn't have fitted and what I should have had fitted on my last one is a you connect that to the waste and of course you close it then if it does lose any water through here you don't lose it out and your pond doesn't drain you've got the rubber fittings for the end of the connectors too you've got the spin clean auto instructions which is straightforward as you can see they're very easily identified as inlet outlet so in your normal running mode water comes in here goes through the UV through the filter through the media out here back to the pond or whatever you've got in line turn this for cleaning basically you just turn that so basically you just turn that to there 90 degrees and it comes out the waste so basically what happens is inside there's a, an arm and a uh, mechanism that spins around the foams crushing the foam spread uh, squashing them in forcing out all the dirt the dirt then gets washed up and you can do it either on gravity on its own or you can do it with a pump running pump running obviously you're going to lose a lot more water but that's a bonus for me because that's what i use as part of the water change so after what could be one minute or a minute and a half whichever the filter defines it will then beep and all you do is just turn that back and the water then bypasses and goes straight to the pond straightforward got a 13 watt uv in there that while it's running is light a little blue but when you turn the mechanism it goes red to indicate that it's in cleaning mode i think you've got about three or five meters of cable there 
and again you've got a locking device on the clamp inside, uh, on the lid clamp you can just open that that pulls out and you've got your sponges inside I'll open it up and show you the sponges that's the sponges inside and you've got three yellow two blue the two are the core the blue are the coarse the yellow are the fines and if you look on this side this is the mechanism that rotates and turns the sponges round they go round squashed and all the waste comes out straightforward this is how easy it is to refit oh and then the bottom we've got some bail balls which we're going to put some media in there what we've got is some pure plus filter start gel I'm just going to put it in here which is live bacteria stinks unbelievable just put it around the bio balls and I'll put some in the water as well you can tell how good this stuff is because my wife's coughing and then to refit this what you need to do is just put it central it pull the clamp round to the middle of the carrot so we've connected all the pipe work up and it started to run got the water coming through the bottom drain through the two inch ball valve through the 20,000 variable pump up and into the filter unit Back out the filter unit into the clover leaf heater into the tempest out the tempest and into the water it's all controlled via the matsuko switch box and at the moment i've just got the pump running at low speed so that's running at 30 percent which is about six thousand liters give or take any losses and it's pulling 20 amp uh, 20 watts at the moment 19 watts now that up to about 40% which should give us close to 7,000 litres I think quite pleased with the uh, the way it's turned out as such it's a lot bigger filter but it doesn't seem to take up any more room because it's taller rather than more uh, fatter and I just need to play about with the waist what I think I might do is put an elbow on there turn it that way and then it will make uh, save even more space there you go what I've done is I did a rubber elbow so I put a bit of thread, uh, PTFE threaded tape around the outlet, screwed the rubber 90 onto it. This side I've got a bit of a uh, threaded straight coupler so I put it on there so it keeps it out nice and compact. Yeah, drop the carrot. <laughs> Hi, uh, thanks for watching the video. Sorry if it's upset anybody, but with all things in life, there's good and there's bad. And this is one of the things that I got wrong and hopefully a lesson learnt by me and by anybody else watching this video. One of the things I did do in the video is upgraded from a 10,000 litre pump to a 20,000 litre. The 10,000 litre pump was running at 75% and was using 43 watts of electricity and turning over about 7,000 litres of water an hour. The 20,000 litre is only running 40% and it is using 34 watts of electricity and turning over 7,000 litres an hour of water. It's a pump that I had spare from when I upgraded on the main pond, so hopefully by using the 20,000 litre pump it will save me a bit of electricity through the year. Like I say, thanks a lot for watching the video. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and check out some more videos. From a beautiful autumnal afternoon in Chesterfield, Happy Ponding!